What's going on, Planet Poke? Burning Spirit 5, back with some more Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. So last time, we got our fifth badge, and we got Surf, and we surfed over to here, which is like an abandoned boat. So this episode, we're going to go through it and do some other stuff. So here we are, the abandoned ship. The abandoned, broken down, crappy ship is where we are right now. And there are a few things to do right here. You can't explore this whole place until you actually get dive, which is a pain in the old, uh, behind. That rhyme, pain in the old behind. It sorta of did, sorta of did, I'm pretty awesome. Um, here's some harbor mail. You can take that, we actually can buy it, but just say you didn't buy it and you're like me, you can take that back to Marvel City and give it to some person there and she will give you, uh, the coin case, which is cool, because everyone likes a coin case and likes to gamble. Uh, this door's locked. That's what we're doing in, well, this, in, the, in this episode, I should say. That's what we're doing. We're getting the key, getting in that roomy thing, and getting the item, because I need that item for specific things, mostly the sixth gym. And yes, now I'm trapped in a whirlpool. And now the Wyamo's dead. Now he's gonna machoke. Now the machoke's gonna get hit by wing attack. Now it's dead. And level 29. Wow. Um, what's down here? Oh, what are you doing, fatty? Uh, I'm getting uh, the birds of Doge. That's exactly what he said. That guy is, I guess, sort of sick or something. But anyway, over here, that's where you dive. But you need dive. So make sure you get dive and then come back. And that's where you go. And yeah, we get an escape rope right there. Pretty nice, I guess. You know, it's a quick way to escape places. And let's take you on if you're a trainer. No, you're not going to battle me? Alright, we'll get this item, which is a dive ball. Specifically a Pokeball that helps catch Pokemon underwater. And uh, here's another random fact that uh, hints, well, gives you hints that they're going to remake these games, or third gen. Um, in fourth gen games, the dive Pokeball, it got changed to like, it just catches water Pokemon better or something along those lines, but in 5th gen, it actually got changed back to catches Pokemon underwater. And, um, as you know, you can use dive in the 5th generation games, but there actually is no grass or anything to actually catch Pokemon. Now, I'm not 100% sure if you can catch Pokemon, um, underwater in Black and White 2, because I haven't really tried it at any time, but I don't, I haven't been told you can or even heard about it, so that just indicates that they might remake 3rd gen. Which I'm all for, because again, this these, these are my full. Third gen is my favorite generation. I wouldn't say my favorite Pokemon games anymore, because Platinum takes the cake for that, because Platinum is awesome. And here's the storage key I was talking about. Um, but yeah, hopefully they remake these games, because I very much like that. Maybe on the 3DS, the first Pokemon, like, actual Pokemon game, like what we all love. Not like randomly Rumble Arena thing, or whatever the hell it's called. I wasn't a fan of that game. Played it on the Wii. Wasn't, wasn't, I don't know, I just didn't like it. But, uh, anyway, back to what I was saying before, which was really nothing, I think I got everything I wanted. But, uh, yeah, Pokemon Platinum is my favorite Pokemon game. It's just, even though it's pretty much just a remake of Diamond and Pearl, it's just they did everything right. Like, everything in Platinum is just perfect. The Elite Four, the gyms, just awesome game. But anyway, this item right here is TM13, which is... Um, well, I could have, thought it was going to tell me, but it's Ice Beam. Freaking Ice Beam. Probably the one of the best TMs in this game. Definitely a TM that you need, or Blizzard, but Ice Beam is more accurate, so I recommend it. And I'm going to teach it a Wolf Caller, because we have an Altaria coming up that we need to kill. And Ice Beam will really help, really help with that. Like, it will really, really help with that. So, yeah, that's my strategy right there for the 6th gym. And yeah, alright, so now we can leave this place. Actually, got through this place really quickly. I forgot how short it was. Like, if you don't have dive, it's really, really quick. But anyway, back to what we were doing, which is exploring this water route, getting some training done, and then we'll head to the sixth gym. Well, I think we're gonna go back to the third gym first. We have to do a few things, we have to backtrack to get to the sixth gym. But yeah, let's keep first in some trainers, because my Pokemon need a little bit of training, and who doesn't want some training? So this chick's got four Pokemon, no PP left. Oh, that sucks. And you use your amazing water spout that has no effect on anything in this battle because I don't... Why would I send a fire type out against a water type? It's just stupid. It's so stupid. And why do I keep getting trapped in whirlpools? Deadly whirlpools that allow me to not escape even though I wasn't planning on it. 
Alright, well, um, just looking if there's any items around. But we'll take on this dude right here. Battle me, person. Ahoy there, matey! He's got one Pokemon. See, this guy I like because he knows that it's all business and you don't need more than one Pokemon if you're a trainer. So, yes, take on these people. Nice double battle. And they have a Dustox and a Beautifly. Aren't they cute? Having the matching Pokemon. And I'm gonna let Dustox actually live because it gives me memories of when Dustox was alive. And Wolf Collar, finally level 30. Bowley, level 27. Actually, Bone, sorry, Blazy, level 27. I'm actually gonna switch him in because Blazy's cool. We'll go for another quick attack and go for an Ember. And it dies anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But we got the experience, that's what I wanted, and yeah. And here's another battle. There is just trainers everywhere in this route. It's everywhere. And you get to level 30, nice. We're gonna get Wingle. I'm gonna switch into. Miss, actually, no, we'll, we'll stay in. We'll stay in, get that experience. Um, Alright, now we'll go to Mr. Punch. Now we'll go to Mr. Punch. And we'll go for a nice strength. And we'll go for another one. And yeah, awesome. Now I want to take this time to quickly heal up. Uh, do I have any potions? Do I have anything around here? I do I have a protein, which I'll use? I'll use that on. Uh, you gotta miss the punch. He's pretty sweet. So yeah, um, read some comments a few, like, two episodes ago, and you guys mentioned that the only way to evolve Machamp, or Machoke, into a Machamp, is by, like, trading stuff. So, or hacking the emulator or something like that. So I won't do that, so he will actually stay as a Machoke. So that's alright. I mean, it doesn't suck or anything. But I would have liked a Machamp, but I can deal with not having a Machamp. So yeah. Anyway, uh, we're back in. Whoa, did not mean to do that. Because you guys don't want to hear that annoying noise. So we'll get on my bike here. You can hear the bike music. Dun, dun, I don't even. I can't. can't actually hear the audio right now. It's just the way I record. Because I don't care for the Pokemon audio. I mean, it's good and all, but it's just something I prefer not to listen to. I prefer my Pokemon games in quiet. Like, I normally play my Pokemon games, like, when I'm watching something or I'm just chilling, maybe with some music. But, uh, yeah. I don't really listen to the audio ever. Um, Alright, so we're getting here, we need to go back to Morville C to head to the 6th gym. And there's actually something that I can do. Um, and I might do that now, because I can actually catch an Electro-type in this one specific place, if I even find one. Because I haven't caught any Pokemon for a while, and it's been a good, well, good long time since I've caught Pokemon. And I'm actually going to show off this coin case thing, because I feel like that's a good thing to do. So talk to this old lady, or this young lady, I don't know, give her the harbor mail, and she'd be like, Whoa, you have the harbor mail, young son. My cat is making a lot of noise. You guys can probably hear that. Don't you love it? She has, she has a bell. She's like going ding da ding Uh, yeah, sorry about that. If you could hear it, I'm not really sure how good this mic picks things up, but I guess we'll find out when I edit the video. But yeah, we're going to buy some super potions, because they're so, um... I don't know, they're such a rip-off, I should say. Uh, I'm going to sell this Nugget, because it gives me some money. And I'm going to sell this Stardust, because it gives me money. And I'm going to buy some more Super Potions, because I need Super Potions to do stuff. So I'm going to buy, actually, 10. Just because 15 is probably a good amount of Super Potions to have with me at this current time. And then, eventually, I'll probably buy more. And I don't know why I got on my bike, but I am healing up. And then I'll go talk to that man who's sitting in the middle of the street. Ah, uh, healing up. Alright, so, coming over here and talking to this guy, you'd be like, Ah, oh, Zero, you look like you've had a lot of zip. Wait, you have a lot of z Okay. Crazy old man terms. Crazy old man terms. But he talks about a generator. That he is like, it, it's destroying Marvel or something, it's overpowered, something along those lines. And I don't get why it's all the way like, underground. It doesn't really make sense to me. Like... You have a generator, shouldn't you keep it nearby so if something like this happens, you can easily fix it and not get a 10 year old to go underground and fix it themselves? I mean, seriously, the Pokemon world can be so dumb. And here's a Wingle that I don't want. Alright, so here we are in this place of mystery. And this is New Marvel. Yeah, this place, it's called New Marvel. How good is that? Okay. 
And here's a Pokemon. Let's see what it is, because I can catch it. And it is a Voltorb. Did it have to be a Voltorb? I would have easily preferred, like... Uh, I don't know, an Electabuzz or something? Electabuzz. I even have it in this game. Alright, Sonic Boom. And you missed. Take that. Right, I want to capture this. Because it's a Electro-type and I sort of want one. So, yeah. One, two, three, and... ja. Sort of miss it sparkling, like in like. I think they brought it in in leaf green fire red or something. Maybe just emerald. I don't know. I like sparkles now. Pretty sweet. It really lets you know that you've caught the Pokemon. And when you see that spark, you're like, yes, I've caught that Pokemon. It is my bitch. And yeah. So. Anyway, uh, continuing on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That is so dumb. Okay, I'm going back. Let's try not to do that again. Ah, uh, yeah. I believe that is a Pokemon, I think. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. It didn't happen. Hold the phone. There is no phone. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I need to use this one. And I go through there. And I come over here. And we turn off the old generator. Click. The generator appears to have stopped. Wouldn't it be cool if there's just an explosion then? The generator has ex has stopped. And then, kablam! Things just blow up and it's all like crazy. And you're like, oh god, it's blown up. And yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I was talking about then. I'm using an escape rope. I'm getting out of this place. And I'm like, I was like glitching and flashing. That doesn't seem right. But then again, I magically disappear. So... Why am I questioning this? Anyway, let's go talk to this Watson fellow. Because he's all Watson-ish. And he likes to laugh, and he likes to party, because he's an old man. Wahaha, I knew it, Zero. I made you the right choice, asking you here as a TM, and it's Thunderbolt. Wukacha! So, pretty sweet TM. I mean, you're not going to say no to a free Thunderbolt. I mean, technically it is free, but it's not, because you have to do all that hard work, and it's just so much hard work, but I guess it does come in handy, I guess. And no one can learn it, so I guess it probably was a good thing that I caught, um, that Pokemon. Yeah. I'm gonna go talk to this dude and get that, uh, Acro Bark, because it's a better bark. In my opinion, I mean, it's so easy to control, and just, I can do wheelies, and I can hold the B button, and do hops. Look at me, I'm hopping. I'm gonna hop my way to victory. Hop, 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 Alright, joke withdrawn. Joke withdrawn. Let's get these people and kick their behinds with a nice wing attack and a nice mud shot. Yeah, we killed one of them. And you're gonna raise your attack. That is so silly. And yeah, we take them down. Want an interview? I'll give you an interview, alright. I will give you an interview. I'm not gonna give you an interview. I don't wanna waste my time with that. I have things to do, things to see. Irons to steal from random rocks. That is what I have to do. And talking to you, you will give me a good rod because you are a nice fellow who likes to give people good rods. Thank you, old chaparoo. And you, you're a fisherman, but also a trainer. I'm raising Pokemon. Interesting. Ah, oh, that rough skin. It's so rough, it hurts the wings of Bawley, who's a female, which is a funny name. But that's the joke. Oh, here's Steven. This guy, this guy again, this silver head guy. Ah, so you finally remembered me. You're, you're too good to remember me? Too good to remember the new, the full, the gonna be the new champion? I mean, I'm pretty sure you're the champion. I mean, it's probably not some, some guy dressed up in a cape who, who uses water Pokemon. No, 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 that guy, that guy'll never be a champion. That guy's a dick. I mean, yeah, um... Hopefully you guys got that joke. If you didn't, I feel ashamed. But, uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, we take down that swallow. And another wild Pokemon. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't remember if I've caught a Pokemon yet. I don't remember. Uh, I'm gonna catch this Pokemon. I didn't, I didn't nickname that Voltorb either, but that's okay. Holy crap, that could kill me. 
Ah, oh, that was too close for comfort. Too close for comfort. I'm gonna send in Mr. Punch. Just I should have sent in Wolf Collar. All right, whatever. Um, I see. Uh, d all right. So I don't can't remember if I've caught any Pokemon yet. So in this route, so I'm gonna catch this Pokemon. And if you guys remember, like, just check for me. Can you leave like a comment below telling me if I have or have not found a Pokemon on this route? Because I don't remember. My mind is like screwed up. So, let me know if I did catch a Pokemon. I mean, I'll probably just check it anyway. Like, just when I'm done the video, I'll probably check it. So, you probably don't have to leave a comment, but you should do it anyway. Just because. It's cool. And let me know if I've caught a Pokemon yet. And then I will use this thing and add it to my team, because I need an electric type. And I will call you... Elec... Tro. Because that is a villain of Spider-Man. Is that even spelled right? Probably not. But I'm going for it. Alright, so it's Electro, he's our new team member. But again, I may have already found a Pokemon in this route, I just didn't pay attention. But if I haven't, uh, actually if I have, let me know. If I haven't, then just don't let me know at all, because obviously that means I haven't caught one. But if I have found a Pokemon, I saw a Pokemon beforehand, let me know. So yeah. Anyway, I got a heal up, actually. That was scary. I nearly died from that spark. That was so, so nerve-wracking. Uh-huh. I always sell that uh, revive, because technically I'm never going to use it. Like, ever. Ever, ever, ever. How close are you to level 29? Eh, pretty close. Hello, how, how close. Oh, man, two HMs. Okay, how close are you to level 31? God, everyone has HMs these days. Oh, you're pretty close. I'm going to throw you up front. Jeez, yeah, so many Pokemon. So little time. Alright, these guys are the Mimic guys. They're all like crazy and mimicking you and stuff. It's crazy, as I just said. And here's Ninjax, the fastest Pokemon in this game besides Legendaries. But I still think it outspeeds a lot of Legendaries because it's that awesome. So that's pretty cool. It also has the ability Speed Boost, which is also pretty cool. And here's a Super Repel. Gonna need that Super Repel. Alright, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do... Ah, oh, goddammit. Linoon! Oh god, they know. You suck. Alright, here we go. You don't know who I am? You're a Mimic Bugman. Mimic Bugman Signal Beam. Cool move. And level 31. It's about time. It's about time indeed. Let's send in Blazy. He has not had a kill yet by himself. Ember, wish. I wish that you died. Oh, it came true. Isn't that awesome? Get rid of takedown for tackle. Awesome. Let's take down this guy. He is the bug maniac. He is crazy about those bugs. He's like, look at Durg and a bug. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sort of just making up words because I feel like it's a good thing. And he's blazy. He likes the ember stuff. He likes the ember, which I believe is his spit. I mean, I believe he, he when he spits, it's fire. I just believe that's a thing. I believe that's true. And uh, why did I switch for? It's because I was speeding up and didn't know what he was sending out. So dumb. Ah, oh, wild Pokemon. Why do you not die? Seriously, what the hell? Okay, I'm running. Oh, I can't escape. Ah, oh, oh no. What's up? Wolf Collar. Ice Beam. Oh, you're frozen solid. Now take a surf. Ha ha ha. Eat it. Eat that, there's what you have, and it's a surf, and it's all cool and stuff, and yeah. That house is a crazy lady with wingles, I believe. She's crazy! Look how many wingles she has! Whoa! Look at all these wingles! Oh man, this place is so crazy, it's got wingles, and oh, look at the wingles looking at me. And it's asking me questions. So was that one. So was that one. Oh, is this one asking me a question? Oh, this one's asking me a question as well. Oh, God. What are they asking me? Maybe I'm going to die. Is that, what they're, is that what they're saying? You're going to die? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. It's crazy. It's a crazy place. I'm going to heal my Pokemon up. And I'm going to heal up the Pokemon, because that's what I need to do. Okay. So, with all these Wingles here, and this tea, I'm going to sit back, enjoy a nice tea, and end the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe to Planet Poke, also my channel if you like my stuff, 
and later.